see I had to cut through it for this mess. Okay. Well, she's, she's just scared. She's petrified. Good job, Ella. You're doing good. She is doing great. You're doing great, Mommy. You're a good little girl. You're such a little kitty. Her skin is nice and clean. You don't see anything. No flakes, no, you know, little pimples or redness. Her skin looks healthy. Can you check her? What is the foot, right? She has like a spot behind her one of her feet. It looks like a little this. What is that? Like what? a bald spot or something. Where? You see this right on uh, the arm? Um, right, here. right here? Yeah. That's that's normal sometimes from just, it's like a pressure thing. Okay. If you have any like coconut oil okay. to eat, not yeah. like hair or yeah. like skin. Like it has to be edible because right. if she licks it, it has to be able to eat it. Right. Put, rub it here. Okay. Keep rubbing it. It's like a little pressure sore. Yeah, Maybe my daughter she... was worried about that little spot. Yeah, I would put a little coconut oil on there like okay. twice a day until it goes away. Okay. Okay? But, it ha you know, it has to be like edible brand. Okay. Right? Because I don't want it to, like, it, if she licks it, it'll be fine if it's the edible one. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'll just check her ears a little bit. You're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl. Pretty kitty. She's really good. Her ears get quite dirty, so we have to clean them often. Yeah, they look pretty clean. I mean, she's got a little bit of normal wax. But it's it not smell. mites, right? No. Okay. No. Mites looks like co like used coffee grounds. It's very dark and crumbly okay. when you have ear mites. This is just run-of-the-mill wax, and there's no smell, so there's no infection. and it's not, it's not ear mites. And they're really itchy. Like, they can't even control it. They're just yeah. like constantly itching, itching. All right, let's check her teeth a little bit. Hi, Mama. Say, ah. Yeah. <laughs> she looks fairly young. Yeah. She's But she's big, a, though, right? She, I'm sorry? She's big. She's, yeah. I mean, she's, she's, she, I'd say she's like a year, mm -hmm. not, you know. So if you had her, how many months did we say you had her already? About seven months. Seven months. Let's say she was six months. Okay. Maybe less. She might have even been a little less. I'd say she's like a, about a year, maybe okay. a year and a couple of months. Okay. Not more than that. Yeah. That's my estimation. Because even when she age. like cries or meows, it sounds like a like, like a, a baby. baby. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely an adult. Though. She's <laughs> okay. An adult. She's definitely at least one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think she she's probably just. Just one, or maybe like one year, one month, or okay. something like that. It's hard to give, you know, yeah, exactly. unless you had them from the very beginning. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, I'm going from what you said a little bit that she was smaller, so maybe she was like four months because mm -hmm. three months they're kind of small. Mm -hmm. Around four months, they get a little bit already, a little bit bigger. Okay, you know, and it's usually a pound per month. Do you know how much she weighed at all when you first got her? Okay, because that would have helped also. Yeah, because usually you can size them as a pound per month. Yeah. Up until six months old, you can kind of use that as a, as a good estimate of how old they are. Uh -huh. But then after that, you can't can't use it anymore. Okay. And she's already, you know, if you've had her for seven months and she she's she's I'd say a year, a little bit more than a year, maybe a year a month. All right, let me put a little estimate to you okay. together for the um <laughs> the vaccines and the leukemia. Okay. And AIDS, and then I'll put the price of this next vaccine on there just so you can see how much it would be for 